Hello and welcome to the last installment of the American Girl Love Shack Fancy collaboration videos. So this is the last thing for me to unbox and review and it is the garden party dress. Um, I was not 100% sold on this when it came out. I think I thought it was just too many ruffles and um, it still had the print on it that I'm not the biggest fan of, which I'll show it. To, I'll show you out of all the Love Shack fancy prints. I'll show you the one I least like. Um, but I don't know. As soon as you know, it's definitely one of those Instagram things. As I saw more and more people on Instagram have it, um, I was like, yeah, I actually would be kind of sad if this dress sold out and I didn't have a chance to enjoy it. So I ended up buying it. Um, the back of the box is not very exciting. This is American Girl Love Shack Fancy on the sides. And here we are. So pretty. Um, yeah, so this is the dress. So we've got a dress. Let's see, we've got a headband, paper dolls, and some shoes. Uh, yeah, so I thought this dress was a little expensive for you know, being a doll dress. <coughs> Excuse me. But I kept hearing the quality is good, the quality is good, and then I saw pictures of it on Instagram, and I'm like, okay, I actually do like it. Um, I also saw the pictures on the Instagram where they had lifted up. I'm gonna sort of fake it for this little bit of the video, where they had lifted up, and it was only these two layers of the dress, and I thought that was just adorable. Um, and so, like I said, there are, well, there were three main Love Shack, Love Shack fancy prints, and they're all incorporated on this dress. So, for example, this one, this one is on the, um, floral flutter day dress. It's on the high-low dress. Um, this one's also on the high-low dress as well. Um, this one's my absolute favorite. I just love the dainty small print. I think that's just adorable. This one, I, I I don't have any problem with this one. I mean, it's very pink, of course, but for some reason, this print is just not my thing. I do not like this print, which is part of the reason I didn't get the the top that was just this print. I was like, I'm not, it just was too babyish for me. And that's, there's nothing against babies and it's nothing against pink bows. It just didn't, didn't speak out to me. So it was not my favorite print. And that was also why I wasn't wanting this dress because the big bow right in the middle also made out of the same print. So that was my first reservation for it. There's a little bit of thoughts behind it, but I'm a sucker for smocking and embroidery stuff as you've heard me say. Um, and the other thing is that this dress is lined. And so that was one of the reasons why I, you know, I can show it that way, but it's fully lined. Um, and so that, you know, that to me, that's quality. So like, like I said, the linings don't have to be the best material, but having a lining is just super, super important. And so that was the, okay, so the quality came through and I'm like, okay, fine. I think I'm gonna get this. And then the headband, the headband is adorable. It's got, um, so it's got this bow here, but this bow does not come undone. It's actually sewn in, but this is all elastic material. You've got these little dainty flowers up here. I think this is adorable. Um, the American Girl has been using this um, sort of stretchy elastic band for headbands for a few outfits now. I'm a fan of it. Um, I'm going to put McKenna in this outfit, and so I'll show you what, you know, you know things to consider when you put this on McKenna's hair. Um, the shoes, shoes are pretty standard American Girl shoes. It's got the same elastic. Um, I mean, these, this will annoy me. I know when I try to put it on, it's the like ballet elastic effect, um, trying to give it a ballet tie up look. And so that's what it's supposed to look like with the bow on the outside, but I'll show that to you in more detail. But the thing is you have to put the doll's foot in through the top loop, through the second loop, and then in through um, in order to make sure it actually fits. <laughs> Here's the other shoe. Yeah, I know I'm gonna be annoyed to put those on. Which is why I put things on 
off the screen. And then the other thing that was really interesting to me was the fact that this came with paper dolls. I have a small obsession with paper dolls for my dolls. Um, I have made reprints of like Molly's paper dolls and I have um, the paper dolls from Cecile and Mary Grace's collection. And I just thought this was a cute addition. Dolls for your doll. And I, I also love the diversity in the doll pictures. I just, I thought this was such a neat addition that I wanted to support that. Um, so yeah, that was, I'm not going to take those out now since I am moving. I'm going to try to keep those nice and neat. I'm actually going to put them back in the plastic. Um, yeah, so today is my actual last day of filming, um, videos before, um, I move into my new house. So this will be, this will be interesting. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's the dress, and I'm going to take a pause now just so that I can put this on McKenna, and then I'll show you this on McKenna, and then I'll hold it up again next to the floral flutter day dress, which was part of the mix and match. It was just the dress. Okay, so here is McKenna in the garden party dress. And I'm putting her next to Natasha, who is in the floor flutter day dress. Um, I knew right away I wanted this dress. And this one, um, this honestly is the look. Notice it's missing a layer. Um, this is honestly the look that I saw on Instagram that I'm like, okay, I might actually need that dress. Because I think without that extra layer, it looks a little bit older, a little bit more sophisticated. Something a shabby chic 13-year-old would wear. Um, I love the hairband. I think that's awesome. It was so easy to get on. Um, I love the, I love how both of them have the little flutter sleeves. I think that's a great addition. Um, now this one, it has just the flutters. Uh, this one has flutters attached. So there's actually a dress here and the flutter is attached to the dress. This is just the sleeve itself is the flutter. And the big bow, bow on the front versus this dress as the bow on the back. And then of course the shoes, I told you they were going to be a pain to get on. They definitely were, but they are adorable. Definitely that ballet vibe. I really like that a lot. Um, so yeah, about this other layer. So it's actually still there. I did not chop it off and I, I, I think I paid too much for this dress to chop it off. Um, but I, I do like that you could actually tuck that up. So I'm gonna not show this on screen, but pull out that extra layer very carefully with one hand. There we go. Just so you can see the pull effect. Um, it's still an adorable dress. Um, I think that extra layer is just a little too much. It's a little too much for me. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think I'll be chopping it off anytime soon. I could though, but um, there's the back side of the dress, all of her hair and all of her glory. Um, I love how they use this. I do love that they use the big flower print as the top. I think that's really elegant. But yeah, it's just something about this bottom layer is not, not speaking to me. But the rest of it, I absolutely love. Um, and of course the beautiful smocking right here at the top it's fantastic um so yeah so these are my lovely dolls ready for springtime ready for easter so thank you for watching and thank you for following along in my love shack fancy review um i will say that you know if you only have to get if you only have money to get one dress, I would definitely go with this dress and the shoes compared to this ensemble. Um, I think, I don't know, I think this is just, for me at least, this is the better dress. Um, and those are the better shoes. But to each their own, but thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.